I'm Carla. I'm the massage therapist and Reiki master in HLP. Hi, Carla. We're going to be asking you a few questions to get to know you today. Okay. So, what tea are you drinking today? Meat. Yum. Are you a coffee or a tea drinker? Both. And what's your favorite place to get coffee in Miami? McDonald's. We all love McDonald's. <laughs> and how do you usually prepare for a consultation? Okay, so I start preparing the table massage. So I put it the paper sheet. After that, I'm trying to find all the instruments that I'm using. Then I do the crystal healing. What instruments do you use? I use singing bowls, rain stick, uh, also wind chimes, crystals. Which one's your favorite instrument? The bowls, the heart one. And when did you start working at HLP? In 2014. What's the best part of your job? The best part is to help people, to make them feel better. And when did you first get interested in energy healing? Well, when I was uh, studying mass in massage school, I started feeling, after I started working, I started feeling the energy from the other people. And then I realized that how important it is. So that's why I get into the Reiki program. What's the best part about energy healing? The best part is the connection with the other human being. And what do you have there? Crystals. I'm an amethyst, pink quartz, my pendulum. Which one's your favorite? The amethyst. What time of the year do students come to your office most? I think we don't have a, like a time, it's all the time. <laughs> You're always busy? <laughs> yes. And what do you do in crystal healing session? Well, the student lay down on the table. I put the different crystals in, in every chakra. Uh, after that, I cover their eyes with the mask, so they will be more uh, aware to the sound. Do you think it's important for students to get energy healing in college? Yes, I think it's very important because it can help them with the stress and the anxiety. And when was the last time you got a massage with the crystal healing? Yesterday I had one massage. Ooh. And it smells really good in here. What aromatherapy do you have? I have lavender and lemongrass. What interests you the most about alternative medicine? Uh, I think the body, the mind, and the spirit are very connected and we are energy. And what issues or problems do students mostly come to you for? A stress. So what are you holding? A singing bowl. And what does it sound like? So nice. So what would you tell students who are skeptical about alternative medicine? Like crystal healing or a, um, Reiki? Okay, they can... I think they need to make an appointment with us so they can try our our service and they can see if they, they like it or not. Do you have a busy day today? Yes, actually I have an appointment right now. Elisa? Hi, how are you? I'm Carla. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Welcome. Are you ready for your energy healing time? Yes, I'm so excited. Right here, please. So what advice would you give for opening and realigning your chakras. Well, uh, they, if they have any blockages, they can do different yoga poses. They can eat different uh, food that they can help to open and balance the chakras. And also they can do Reiki. And what advice would you give students who are stressed out? that they need to take care more about themselves and they need to try different ways to help with their stress. What's the best way to relax during finals? Having a massage or try to make an appointment to do Reiki or do exercise, anything that can help them to release the stress that they have. And how do you usually relax after a long day? I go to my house, I take a nice bath, do some breathing. That's the way that I relax. What's your favorite place to unwind on campus? 
the nature reserve. And your favorite exercise? Oh, I love to dance, so I do Zumba every week. What's your favorite song? I don't have a favorite one because I like everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing to eat on campus? I don't eat on campus because I bring my lunch all the time. So I make my own food. So what's your favorite food to make? Empanadas. Ooh, yummy. Rainy days or sunny days? It depends. I like both. And what do you like to do on your days off? Uh, enjoy time with my family. What's the best ad piece of advice you would give an anyone? That they need to, uh, to love themselves the way that they are. What advice would you give students who want to start taking care of their spiritual well-being? They need to find a way to take care of themselves. So there are different ways. They can make an appointment with us to make, to do like a Reiki session. They can do crystal healing. Uh, they can do massages. So there are many ways to they can relieve their stress. And now it's time to do my appointment with Alisa. So I hope to see you later. Thank you for everything, Carla. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. What would you tell students who are maybe skeptical? Skeptical. What would you tell students who are skeptical? Wait. Pause. Put it back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Crystal healing or Reiki. I think they need to try to make an appointment and can men and can men and can. My head is on a rock. Is that no? <laughs> Yo, I was. <laughs> Part of the experience.